Waifus, waifus, and more waifus. Who needs complex, well-written character dramas with high stakes? Not me. This new entry in the Fate universe while not being as amazing, as spectacular, as orgasmic as Fate Stay. It is, and is in this defense, better than Fate slash Extra Encore and that other one we all forgot about. <clears throat> We follow our main characters, waifu who is shy and guy who is good, on their quest to save humanity. While the story is pretty easy to follow, the world's ending and people wish it wasn't. The nitty gritty bits were explained in a movie or something with Fate Grand Order Babylonia being the anime follow up to that. So you might want to watch that beforehand or if you played the mobile game you should also be caught up on what's what. So pink shy waifu and guy who is good, the good guy one might even say, drop into the distant past in the era of the gods, introducing many powerful characters like like Sundare Waifu and Tiger Waifu and Best Waifu. Yes, Gigglemas returns once again to grace us with his presence. Though if you want the better and more interesting version of Gigglemas, you'd have to watch the amazing, the spectacular, the orgasm. We travel back in time to get the Holy Grail and wrestle it from the evil gods and save the universe. Only to discover that Gigglemas, praise be unto you, had the Holy Grail this whole time because he's Gigglemas, of course he would have it. But he is willing to give it to them on one condition. So our merry band of waifus must work together with Gil to discover the secrets of the three guys and save the world. This show is very lighthearted. All of the waifus have been drawn in such an appealing way that it's easy to get wrapped in when the new characters show up. I mean as much as I call pink waifu who is shy pink waifu who is shy, she still has a very cute aesthetic which makes it easy to ignore what I consider shallow or uninteresting characters. The characters in this show are not that interesting, they lack a lot of depth and complexities and are pretty one note in what they do. Waifu who is sundere will sundere and Spanish waifu is Spanish. A very stark contrast to some of Fate's earlier works like the amazing, the spot and also Apocrypha. While I've never watched Encore for more than 5 minutes, judging from his character designs I can only assume that's when Fate really started to take a turn for the other direction. I mean what do I know, I hear the original Fate was a hentai game so. Yeah. But yes, this show is very lighthearted. Fate still has its legendary animations, so the fights are incredible to watch. Breathtaking, really. It's still really fun seeing all the different powers each servant has and learning about their lore and backstory, trying to pinpoint Fate's, um, unique take on history. Like for example, King Arthur, who was Saber, is a woman, and Saber had a son named Mordred because Saber's sister turned Saber into a <laughs> Saber's sister then gave birth to Mordred by So yeah pretty unique take on history. I did still really enjoy the fights though and the character models and the lore and the power of the characters. And I'm not saying the show is bad, just that I don't think it has a lot of substance to it. It's, it's very, it's just the show's not concerned with being anything new or particularly interesting, it's just, it just wants to have a good time. So if you ignore the fact that the main characters are largely uninteresting, everyone I saw of Gigglemess and the guy who was good is a waifu, there's generally no tension in the show. If the main character can't physically win, it turns out everyone was just pretending to be evil, making them prime subjects to get talk no jutsu, or if you're not a weeb, being a spineless bitch. So yeah, there's very little tension in the show and a lot of jokes during the few serious scenes. If you can ignore all of that, then you can sit back and look at the nice character designs and enjoy the good fights and then be disgusted at the character lores and the Wikipedia pages. And if you wanted a lighthearted, simple show where things go kaboom, then check out Fate Grand Order, the, the Tai Maju Sun Sun Babylonia.